Hello, I'm back again with another video. Tonight I am cooking beef short ribs. I can't believe we ate all them neck bones. I think we ate them neck bones for dinner and then we ate them for lunch today. So these are my beef short ribs. I got them soaking in lemon juice and water. I have cleaned them. I cleaned the back off because you have to clean the back off of short ribs. Excuse me, you guys. Um, so I'm going to bake these today in the oven. I'm not going to do them in my Instapot on baking because I got a sure fire way of baking and they turn out tender. Just takes a little longer. So all that you see on there, I will be washing it off. I didn't take a lot of fat off because we need a little fat, but just clean them real good. Uh, this is the part I cleaned. This part of the bone, I took that little tough part off on each part. So, wash them hands. Okay. So, again, I'm adding the same things. My tradition is pretty much the same. So, it will be um, some mustard, steak sauce. I have some Worcestershire sauce here. I have my beef, uh, better than beef bouillon. But this time I have my uh, ginger paste. I have my onion soup mix. And I have my cornstarch mixed with um, the onion soup mix. So you can see a little cornstarch in there. That's how I started. And I add me a little hot water. So I'll start running my water. When I get the ribs fixed um, and prepared, ready to go into the oven, I'll get back with you guys. But we ready. Okay, I am back. I have seasoned my uh, short beef short ribs um, in this. And I added my mixtures over here that I told you I added. And I shook it up really good. So now I'll let you guys see me put it in my foil. There goes one. Two, three, there's six of them, three, and I did wind up cleaning a little bit of the most of the fat off for her. One, two, three, four, five, six, there goes six right here. Okay, so, this I'm going to put in the oven, I got the oven set at 350. Hope you guys can see them. And then what I will do is pour my juice on here. Okay. So I'll be back when I get them in the oven and they're cooked. Ain't nothing going with this but the potatoes. A sister tired. It's Friday, okay? People supposed to be eating hot dogs and french fries. But my uh, people don't eat hot dogs. So I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I am doing some, um, sorry about the camera swing. I'm doing some, um, some fried potatoes with onions. And then I'll do some corn, corn in a can, you know, generic meal. So it's Friday. So what I did was I boiled my t uh, potatoes for a little while just because they take so long when you fry them and, unless you cut them really thin. So I'm getting my butter together. Did a little sesame seed oil, just a little bit. So those would be better for your health. So let that get nice and crispy and warm and hot. And then I will put my potatoes in there. And here are my potatoes. Oh, they look so nice and good. Let's see how, how, how tender they are. I don't want them too tender. Yeah, they're kind of hard still, so good. So good for frying. I don't know why I got this in here with that. 